process. When it is shown to be we are going to discuss about the electromagnetic train of the time. And it's how to go this 5 to 0, 7, 0, 8. So in this video, we are going to discuss about its application, working, and the components on this train of the As we know that pneumatic requires uh, compressed air for actuation, so here is our compressor for compressed air. Now moving on to our trainer kit. So we will, as we see, as we can see that this is an electro pneumatic trainer kit. So starting with the electronic components first. So this is our SMPS panel, uh, which converts to 30 volt AC into 24 volt. Then this is our switch panel. Here we have different push buttons. Uh, and these are the different switches as well. This is mushroom switch and this is the illuminated push button. Then this is our indicator and relay panel. And this is our dual timer panel. Now moving on to these. This is our double acting cylinder with lead switch. And this is our single acting cylinder. This is also double acting cylinder without the lead switch. And we have different flow control valves here. Uh, some of them are manually operated and some are uh, mechanically operated. And this is our pressure regulator to re regulate the pressure. And this is our FRL unit which filters, regulates and lubricates the air that is coming through the compressor. And this is our proximity uh, sensor which is used for detection of the position of crystal. So now the experiment which we are going to perform is to study the operation of single acting cylinder using 5 by 2 single pilot operated wall and we have used 2 by 2, by two way solenoid wall as well to give the pileted supply to this uh, pileted wall. So we have taken the air from the air compressor and we have given it to the FRL unit. Then from the FRL unit we have given it to manifold as manifold is used to give multiple connections, uh, air supply connections. So we have given it, we have taken the input from this to uh, the 2 by 2 the solenoid ball and then we have connected this 2 by 2 solenoid ball to the 5 by 2 single pilot operated ball. Then this output of pilot operated ball to the to again the single acting cylinder. Then in electronics we had done we had connected the SMPS positive terminal to the switch panel positive terminal of NO. Then the other terminal of NO to the uh, two by two way solenoid ball positive terminal and we have given the other terminal to the ground. So now as we have performed the connections, so now we will switch this on, we will first switch on the SMPS and then we will switch on this compressor Control ball as we can control the flow 
uh, using this flow control valve. So we have given the input uh, to the flow control valve and then to the output. Uh, for the we can control the extraction of this piston using this flow control valve. So we have given uh, both the outputs of the uh, this board to the uh, double acting cylinder with the reed switch we have used here. A uh, reed switch is basically used for determining the position. And then we have done the connections. We have taken the positive of S and PS and we have given to the NO of this switch panel. Then again ground of this to the uh, ground of the 5 by 2 double solenoid ball. And then we have taken the other push button as well. One uh, for working the piston in forward direction and the other one to operate the piston in reverse direction. So now we will switch this SMPS on, we will switch the compressor on and we will see it's working by pressing the push button. So we can see the extraction and retraction again. So we can use this flow control valve, we will see like this and then we can change the ex uh, retraction using this. So we can see how it is extracting and retracting. So this was the working of double acting cylinder and here we have many other like we have and or wall. We have the 5 by 2 way double pilot operated so we can operate it by pressing these. Then we have our uh, 2 by 2 way solenoid wall. Then we have 5 by 2 hand weaver wall, so this can be operated at two positions, this one and this is the second position. Then this is our pressure regulator, this is our proximity uh, sensor, then this is our time delay wall. We can provide time delay to the, uh, to the extraction and retraction of this piston cylinders. Then this we have 5 by 3 hand weaver wall, so this can be operated at three positions. Then again we have double acting cylinder, this is our limit switch, this is pilot 3 by 2 way, so this can be operated in two ways by pressing this. And this is our 3 by 2 way mushroom button wall. So that was all the demonstration from my side. If you have any query regarding this product, you can contact us at our website that is Tesla Global and the link is given in the description. Uh,